Welcome. If you're here, you're probably wondering how to mod the game. I'm going to run it right through you. Uh, well, first, step one, we're going to have to go to the Free Planet 2 Mod Manager page on Game Banana. Scroll down until you see, uh, well, for me, it would be 1.3 update at the moment. So I would menu download this, click it again. Yeah, this is like the third time I did this video. And then you want to go to your downloads and then you want to extract this folder. Extract. You can delete, uh, delete the zipped folder. And then you want to go in here. You want to take this cut. Now you want to go steam. I'm pretty sure most people have had this on steam. If you're doing this on a console, I don't know how you're going to mod the game on console. I'm going to say that right now. Browse local files under Manage. When you right-click uh, Freebland 2 in your Steam library, it should take you to here. Uh, this is where your game would be downloaded at. Some people might have downloaded somewhere else other than their Steam common folder. Now you want to paste that, uh, that manager into here. Since I already had mine in here, it's going to ask me to replace. So I'm going to replace it. And we're going to want to run it. Windows is probably going to get angry. I think it's a virus. I never had problems with it, so we're going to hit run anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's yelling at me because I technically had this already installed and everything. Now, when we get to here, yours is going to look like this. There's not going to be anything in there. Uh, Yeah, there shouldn't be anything in there. Uh, these, you're going to want to install these two because most of the mods you're going to be installing are going to be running on these two, uh, mod loaders. I think that's what they're called. And then you got to install that one. Install this one. And now, since I already have a mod on here, it's going to show up here. Now that now that part's all good. Now, what about what mods do you want to install? Now, I go to Game Banana for mine. You can take a little browser here if you want. Uh, I think there's another website. I forget what it's called. But I'm going to show you like the primary ways to uh, install mods. Now, there's like the th on the Game Banana. There's like three different main ways I would say. Now, if we go down to, this is Free Planet 2 Trainer. I want to scroll down to the bottom. Now, some of these downloads on this website have the one-click install. If you click on it, it's going to ask you the if the website's allowed to open your mod manager. And you can just hit open. And then it's going to ask you, and you can hit yes. Since I already have it installed and nothing's, yeah, nothing's going to happen. I already have it installed. And you want to hit refresh to make sure it installed correctly. Now, there might be some, now some of these mods might not have the one click install and you're going to have uh, mods where you're going to have to install it manually. Uh, and also different mods have different requirements. Like this mod needs melon loader. Uh, here's another mod, Villa Cube mod. You might have seen this video. Uh, let's see, you're gonna need Bep in X. I think that's how you pronounce it. So this one's gonna need that launcher. Well, this one's gonna need Melon Loader. That's why I usually say to. That's why I usually say install both. But uh, here, I'm going to show you how to manually install for Melon Loader real quick, and then I'll show you how to manually install for uh, BepinX, if I'm saying that correctly. Now you want to click on Manual Download, and then Download again. And then we're going to go to uh, our Downloads. Oh, yeah, you can get rid of this folder, you don't need it. You can extract this here. Delete the uh, the zipped folder. Odds. Here you go. 
right here you can cut this and then you want to go to your back in here and then you want to go to the ml loader go to mods and then you can just paste it right into here since i already have it in here it's going to once again it's going to say uh replace the files and i'll just replace the files like nothing ever happened uh if we go back here this is where the main part of the game is installed now let's install a mod for uh Pepin X. We're going to hit manual install. You're going to download. It's already done. We can go to downloads. You can delete this old folder because there's not really a point to having it. Okay, sorry. I had to re record this. So here, we're going to extract all here. Put it in here. We can del uh, delete the millicube folder. And then we're going to want to take. This folder we want to cut, and we can go back to our uh, where the game's installed. You know, we go to Bepinex, we go to plugins, and then we can just paste, replace the files, and then go back. <clears throat> you go back to here, and then it should be there. For some reason, it didn't want to show up unless you restart this sometimes. Even if you hit refresh sometimes, the this mod would not show up. But everything works right now. And that's how you install mods for the game. Now, uh, just some warnings. When you're doing modding and stuff, you want to make sure you back up your save files just in case if they get corrupted or you're soft locked into a weird position in a game or in the game I mean so you want to go to percent app data click on here now you want to go uh, you want to click on the top here because it will take you to the Roman automatically when, when you do that. And then you want to go to Logo Law, go to Galaxy Trail, and then these would be your saves in here. What I usually do is to back up my game or like my game saves, I would just copy and let's go to our desktop. I would just paste it like right here. I already put mine right here. I I just make sure you, you don't want to mess up your saves if you really care about your saves. Uh yeah, that should be everything for modern. If you want to make your own, that's a different story. I don't well I'm not I know how to change some basic stuff a little bit, but I'm not really into coding or any kind of like the major stuff. Uh, well, I sh I hope hopefully they answered your questions. I will put all these links into the description so you can find out where all this stuff is. Uh, I hope this helped. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Hopefully, I can answer them or somebody else can. Uh, oh, let's just double check to make sure our mods work. Okay, I loaded it up into a level. Uh, I'm pretty sure it works. Uh, because... Well, I can spawn a character in. I can... No clip around. Yeah, and that mod worked as well. Uh, I'm using my keyboard right now. I'm not really using my controller. I just want to make sure this works. Yeah, it works. But once again, if you have any questions, please let me know. Or someone know in the comments. And I guess that will be everything.